Hello, everyone. I want to talk a little bit about the page a day glue book. This is a, an idea that I have wanted to do for a couple of years and decided with my lack of time, I wanted an easy project for glue book January this year. So this is one of the projects that I will be working on. The concept of a page a day glue book is a page a day for every day of the year. So it's a long-term, year-long project that I wanted to start at the first of the year. So a lot of people have been commenting and telling me that this is a kind of project that really um, excites them, that sounds like a project that, that they can do. It is a small project, so it can be done very, very quickly. And, you know, a page a day, it seems a little hard to do, I guess. But I decided I've, I'm under a lot of pressure to do a lot of different things. I don't have a lot of time to have fun and to relax and sit down and do a project and enjoy it. So a page a day for me um, is my way of giving myself a project that is stress-free, easy, relaxing, fun to do, something that won't take too much time, and that I can feel like I'm getting something done. So a page a day glue book, one page for every day of the year, um, is exactly what I think I need. So, and of course, this does not have to be a glue book. It could be an art journal or whatever. So my way of putting ideas out there is I put the idea out there and I show how I'm going to do this idea. And then I hope that everyone that wants to do this project will tweak it to suit them. Um, you don't have to do it exactly this way. This is not steadfast rules. There's no right or wrong way to do any of these projects. And I hope that you will, if you're excited about doing this project, do it however you want to do it. Um, take some guidelines, you know, ignore the guidelines, do it however you want to do it. The, the idea is to actually get something done and to have fun doing it. So the page a day glue book for me, um, number one, I wanted it to be fairly small. And so I had chosen five by five square pages. And I think these are a little bit large for what I want. So I went and did some smaller ones. And the reason I did, I've done two of them, is because when I went to do this one, um, some of the pages were really white and some of them there's some paper bags in here so some of them were really dark and the white pages really they just kind of they were too bright they were too eye-catching and so i thought well i'll just tone down the pages and coffee dye some of them not all of them are coffee dyed Here's some pages in here that aren't coffee dyed. So I coffee dyed some pages that really blared out white, but I think I got them too dark because then I went back here a couple days ago and I was like kind of messing around and, and, and planning. And I noticed that white things on this now don't really, it doesn't really, uh, it doesn't really go well. And it kind of, it stops me in my tracks and that's not what I want. This stresses me out just a little bit. Um, I still will use these pages, but I decided to go with um, a different size page and a different way to do it. So I'm still using those. Um, I'm just I'm going to have two going at one time. Let's see how well I get this done. 
All right, so a page a day for a year. I decided, um, I, well, I, I did the math, and so I need 92 pieces of paper. Basically, 92 pieces of paper folded in half. So each page, each piece of paper gives you four pages. So 92 pieces of paper gives you, I believe it's 368 pages. So this is a leap year. There's 366 days in the year. So that gives you a couple extra pages, maybe to do an intro, um, to extra credit pages, whatever, um, whatever a page so that you can sign it at the end, say what it is. It gives you an extra two pages to do whatever you need to do with it. So 92 pieces of paper is what I am using. I am using um, what I settled with after redoing everything was four and a quarter inches by four and a quarter inches. I like square. Square is easy to do. Um, for some reason, when I get rectangles out there, it's a little harder to fill up the page. Um, it's just easier to do square for me. You don't have to do square. That's what I did. And I chose four and a quarter by a four and a quarter because when you have a piece of American size paper, it is eight and a half by 11. So to make things easy, fast, stress-free, um, Four and a quarter. Let's just do it this way. Nope. I guess I have to do it from this side. Four and a quarter is there. Four and a quarter is there. So all I have to do for fast and easy pages. Fold that in half. Really easy. You can do uh, multiple pages at one time, and then um, you. It goes much faster. It goes much faster. Ripping. If it tearing um, is good for you, then then do that. So. I ripped a lot of the pages. I didn't want them to be perfect. I wanted them to have rough edges. I wanted, you know, it, I didn't want it to be perfect. I, I don't want to worry about messing anything up. This is you know, one of those, I really don't care how it turns out. I just want to be doing something um, in my short periods of time. So that's why I've chosen four and a quarter by four and a quarter. All right. So the next thing I had to think about was the kinds of paper that I was going to use. And if you notice, most of these pages are pretty plain. Um, I kind of stayed away from Scrapbook paper. Um, this one is a scrapbook paper. I tried to stay away from anything with a lot of pattern on it because it's very distracting. You get to a page and you've got color or you've got something on it. The first thing I try to do is match with whatever is there and try to try to do something. And this is more of a just grab your piece, glue it on, and move on, not so much thinking about it. So I wanted things to be really neutral, really plain, um, a little bit of color, but not too much color. I think I got some painted paper in there, but not so much that it's distracting. 
also a little bit of color, some book text, because I like the way book text looks in the backgrounds of collages and um, glue books and things. So really plain pieces of paper. I don't want to be distracted when I sit down to do my gluing. And I decided that for myself, I am going to leave the pages free and just do pages as I can when I have the time to do pages. It probably won't be a page a day for me. It will probably be maybe a one day a week I can sit down and get a few pages done. I am not going to put dates on my my pages. Uh, I really don't care to know later on exactly what date I made you know, whatever page. But some people, you know, like that. So if you want to put dates on your pages, feel free to think about doing doing just that. Um, so I am not going to stress myself out by making myself do a page a day. If it comes to be 10 o'clock at night and I'm tired and I haven't done my page for the day, um, it can wait till the next day or when I get a chance to do it. I'm not stressing myself out about it. Um, this is just for fun. Fun. No pressure. No pressure this, this year. So this is um, 25 pages. It's not really that thick, all right? Um, and we're going back to um, four and a half, four and a quarter by four and a quarter. These pages in this book, this is exactly what I did was I made the pages four and a quarter. And it really is a nice size. It's really a, a great size. This was a random glue book. Um, this was more of a put one piece on each page and then move on kind of thing. So this is it's still a little bit different. But the size of the page really went fast and I really enjoyed it. And it felt like I was getting something done um, is what I really want to feel like. So this book is 25 pages with glued stuff on it. It's five signatures with five pages in each, or five pieces of paper paper in each one. It's the same amount as this. Look how fast those 25 pieces of paper fatten up um, and create, you know, a really thick book. So um, this is 25 pieces of paper and I am using 92 pieces for the entire year. So it's going to be quite big. I'm kind of hoping when I get the pages all done and getting ready to sew them into a book, I'm kind of hoping that it will be about four and a quarter thick. And then I can have a square book. <laughs> the spine would be a four, four and a quarter. The, the cover would be four and a quarter. Um, it would be a little square book. Um, and I think from looking at these 25 pages, I think that that is actually exactly what it's going to end up being. So it should be pretty fun. All right. Um, so... I just wanted to talk a little bit about the book and the pages. You know, there are many ways to do this. You can do the pages free like this, or you can sew the book together beforehand if that's easier for you, if that makes you feel better, um, and just do your page a day in a, a book already. You could also do a... A book that you already have, um, a small, a small book that has been started with a with something else, and just want to finish it off. 
Um, it does not have to be single pages. You don't have to make a book for something like this. A page a day, you know, grab a small blank book or a junk journal or um, anything that you happen to have around, anything that you've started and you'd like to get finished. Just grab something and use it for your, your page a day. So um, I wanted to show you some of the other things that I was using for pages. Text. I've got some construction paper. This might be too dark for me. I haven't decided yet. Some different types of papers. Sketchbook paper and newsprint and just some different things. Um, this is construction paper. Some wrapping paper. Again, I didn't want anything too um, distracting. Like this one is a brown paper, but the paws are pretty noticeable. They'd be hard to ignore if you were to grab, you know, five pieces of collage fodder and try to glue them on there. They might be too distracting. So I, I didn't want to um, distract myself. I just want to sit there and glue pieces of paper. So. This is a piece of wrapping paper with a little bit of design on it, but not too much. Brown paper, grid paper, or ledger paper. Um, this is a silver metallic piece. Envelopes. I will be using envelopes um, for some pages. I like the patterns but it's not really distracting, so that should work pretty well. And then manila envelopes, too. Um, I'll be using some of those, just plain pieces of paper. Of course, copy paper in different colors, and some book text. I like book text. This one's a math book. It's got a little bit of stuff on it. This one is... Um, German. I can't read it, so it's not very distracting for me. Um, I'll be using these kinds of things for my pages. The things that I decided not to use are, I've got a little bit of painted paper, but it's got just a sprinkle of color on it. Um, I think this one is too bold. It's too distracting. I haven't decided if I'm using stuff like this yet or not. I may throw a couple of them in and see how it goes. If it doesn't work, I can throw them back out again. Scrapbook paper. This one, there's too much contrast here. Um, this is going to be very distracting, so I wouldn't use anything like that. But if you've got a scrapbook paper that's got just a very light color and it's not really distracting, um, I might use something kind of like this. Here is some wrapping paper. Um, it's gold. It's very shiny. It could be distracting. I might try to make a page out of that, see how it goes. Again, if it's too distracting, I might just ditch it and try something else. I do have some newspaper in there. This one's Japanese, I believe. Um, and this one's pretty plain. I think, though, that this side, yeah, it would have to come up to about there. And I'm not sure if that would be too distracting on the page. I'm going to try it, see what what happens. Um, I really want the pages to be really plain, not distracting, so I can grab anything and put them on the pages and not have to worry about it. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry. Throat is dry and I forgot to get some water. I think that's everything about the book. Like I said, 92 pieces of paper. 
I am doing um, four inches by a quarter inches, which is really handy for eight and a half by 11 paper. And <coughs> now I'm going to choke. And right at the end, of course, you know. So that's what I'm doing. I am doing loose leaf so that I can sew them into a book at the end of the year. But you can use a book if you want to. I guess that means I need to end. All right. <laughs> I need to go get a drink of water. So I hope you guys will enjoy this project and make it stress-free for yourselves. You can do it any way you want to do it. And I will come back um, with some more little tidbits about collage fodder in another video. Thanks for watching.